locking eyes with her son's killer for the first time since he committed the crime. Chilling words from the mother of Lucas Hanna, who was murdered by his best friend. That friend now pleading guilty to shooting and killing Lucas back in July. 8 News reporter Devon Reynolds has been following this tragedy for months now. And Devon, how is that mother doing tonight? I know you spoke with her. Well, Eric, she says it's really been an emotional roller coaster. On one hand, her son's alleged killer taking accountability for this crime. But on the other hand, she's still having to process every single day that her son is no longer here. Justice is all I've wanted for Lucas since day one. It's a start, I guess, but it doesn't take away what he did at all. Jennifer Wallace breathing a sigh of relief after 18 year old Michael Cook has pleaded guilty to murdering her 16 year old son, Lucas Hanna. The mother sharing those emotional moments in court. When he first walked in, he looked at me. That's the first any court date we've been to. He has never looked at me. I can't even describe it like I don't want to say remorse because he, you know, he hasn't shown that, but it was just a start. Cook pled guilty to several charges in connection to the July 2nd deadly shooting, including felony murder, giving false information to police, two counts of possession of a firearm under the age of 18, and more. His friend, who honestly was like family, ruined his life. Back in July, Wallace had dropped her son off at his friend's house. The Amelia County Sheriff's Office received the call not long after that, around 9.45 p.m., saying Lucas had been accidentally shot. Police arrived on the scene and tried to treat him, but he died from his injuries. Initially, Lucas's friend Michael Cook told 8 News Lucas had shot himself, but as the investigation continued, authorities arrested Cook, charging him with the crime. Christmas was his favorite, so it definitely was hard not having him here. He says this admission and guilty verdict is a step in the right direction for her and her son. I'm grateful that he is getting the justice he deserves. Like, that's all a mother can ask for because there's so many who don't ever get that justice. And this is definitely a pain I never wish on any parent. Now, Cook is currently being held in jail. His sentencing hearing will be on February 6th. Reporting live tonight, Demond Reynolds, 8 News.